Good morning. Orange men and nationalists have accepted a British government offer to mediate in talks on the Drum Cree dispute starting in the morning. Each side will send four delegates to the talks, but the two sides won't meet face to face. Police at Drum Cree tonight fired plastic baton rounds as a small group of loyalist demonstrators attempted to break through the barbed wire security line. Loyalist protesters and orange men have again gathered in the fields around Drum Cree Parish Church, although in smaller numbers than on recent nights. Nationalists in Belfast's Lower Ormo Road say they'll stage a street protest against an orange parade through their area on Monday after the High Court refused to ban the parade. Meanwhile, a High Court judge has offered to sit in the morning to hear an application by a Garvahi Road resident for an injunction to stop orange men at Drum Cree, defying the parade's commission march ban. Ten people have been arrested in connection with the discovery of explosive equipment in London in a joint Garda British police operation. The Taoiseach Bertie Hearn and the British Prime Minister have praised the cooperation of the security forces. Two people were killed this evening when their car was in collision with another car on the main Dublin Belfast road at Blake's Cross near Swords. The driver and passenger of the other car were taken to Beaumont Hospital. And the weather outlook mainly dry and clear tonight with winds moderating lowest temperatures 8 to 11 degrees. A dry start for most areas tomorrow but rain in the southwest becoming widespread later. And that's it from the newsroom. Ihawa, Agus Kulasov.